The Jordan Scotty Egg Incubator is the result of our founder, Blaney Scott, and conservationist Fred Jordan's desire to make a contribution to the enhancement of salmon, trout, and walleye stocks in streams and creeks around the world. Over the past few decades, there has been a steady decline in natural spawning. Many spawning areas no longer exist, and the remaining spawning grounds are only partially affected. With the continued depletion of original salmon stocks, the need for volunteer and organization-driven enhancement programs has never been greater. Let's let an expert tell you how it makes an impact. I'm Peter McCulley, and uh, I'm a professional fish culturist. I have the good fortune of uh, volunteering in the Salmon Enhancement Program in British Columbia. Peter, tell us about your involvement with the Jordan Scotty Egg Incubator. I started as a volunteer at the uh, Goldstream Hatchery in 1975. I was invited to uh, attend a meeting with, uh, with Blaney Scott and a gentleman uh, by the name of Fred Jordan to um, discuss this cassette that Fred had developed while he was in the employ of Department of Fisheries and Oceans. And uh, that was in the early 90s. And over the years, we've developed, uh, through trial and error, a workable device that will allow us to introduce or reintroduce juvenile salmon. And in our capacity, that would be uh, coho and chinook primarily. They then are introduced into the upper watersheds of small streams that at one time may have held salmon or for reasons that uh, uh, are various have become extirpated. That was the genesis of the development of the Scotty Incubator. Its simple design makes for an uncomplicated loading process for people with little experience culturing fish. The process starts with securing eyed eggs from a major facility or hatchery with a public involvement program. The use of eyed eggs is important as they're robust enough to be handled and placed into the incubator. A specialized loading tray is submerged in water to minimize handling. Each cassette is designed to hold 200 eggs, with up to 10 cassettes being loaded into an incubator. The incubator provides safety from predators, like birds and bears, and its individual cell design prevents predatory fungus from spreading throughout the eggs. Once the eyed eggs have been loaded into the cassettes and fastened together, the incubator is ready for transportation to a watershed. When choosing a location for the incubator, look for a quiet area, easily accessible on foot with gravel flushed by clean, fresh water. Once a location is selected, you'll want to position with its escape holes at the bottom, allowing any debris to flow through the incubator. Secure the incubator using rebar, string, or placing a rock on top to help keep it in position. Returning to check on the incubator regularly is a good way to ensure it has a continuous flow of water, isn't covered by debris, and remains in its upright position is key for the success of your eggs. The Jordan Scotty egg incubators are made available by Scott Plastics at the cost of manufacturing. This is our way to give back and hopefully make an impact. With your help, we hope to see sustainable fish runs and healthy streams for future generations. <laughs>